How are you doing, John? I'm all right. What's up, you, Paul? Good to see you, Paul. You all right? Uh, you had a good journey over here? Yeah, spot on, Paul. Good man. Yeah. Hopefully we're over it. Got some uh, questions for you from fans. How are you been keeping? Good. Very good. You've had, a, you've had, a, you've had a baby, haven't you? Yeah, a little boy or a little girl. Little, little Reggie. Little Reggie, that's what my boy's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reggie and Rue, yeah. my twins. Little Reggie. Little Reggie Fuse. Yeah, Reggie Fuse. How much did he weigh? Nine pound four ounce. He's a big lad, then, isn't yeah, he? He's big now. Yeah. He's about. He's about 18 pounds now, so he's yeah. a bit cruiserweight, I think. Because you are so all right, aren't you? Yeah, they all settled on that. Oh, mate, oh, bang on, he's, he's brilliant. Yeah. He's in the gym every day with me. Brilliant. He loves it. Wait, you're running Dennis's gym, aren't you, obviously, now, and you're training Kel Brook? Yes, that's the part, yeah, yeah. Well, let's just back up a little bit, because you're a bit of a, you've got a bit of a boxing career that you've gone for over years, haven't you? Yes, man, yeah. You're a, bit, you're a star amateur, were not you? Yeah, you know, I did it when I started off. You started off when you were at 10, didn't you? Yes, like I started off at 10, 11, the first part with 11. Yeah. But then the 50 50 started amateurs, because from being 13, 14 years old, I used to box like a bit of a profession, box like a professional. So I didn't get many wins, but as I started, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. As I started getting a bit um, further along in my career, yeah, yeah. Uh, getting a bit older, 17, 18, 19, started picking up a lot more wins. I, did a lot, I think we lost something like maybe 15, 20 bouts, I only lost a couple, and that was for England and that was in uh, ABAs and stuff. So then turned pro at 19. Yeah, that, did you think that was a bit young, John, to go pro at 19? No, I didn't. Yeah, but I, no, I didn't really, because I got looked after. I got, I, I, yeah. I, I got looked after as, as a young fighter, but I'm like, Glenn, uh, yeah, Glenn Rose, my trainer, helped me, like, he learned me the game from a very, very young age, so, when, and then when I turned professional, I actually turned professional, first few fights with Dennis, yeah, yeah. Uh, and Dennis looked after me on his show, so, I don't think he was too young, I just think, um, I may be, just fell out of love with it a little bit earlier. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. maybe looking back, if I'd maybe turned pro a little bit later, I might have to or something. fell out. But I'd have still been boxing amateur and I'd have still probably fell out of love with it at some point anyway. Because so. when you were an amateur, did you fight Kel three times as an amateur? Yeah, I boxed yeah. Kel three times. He, he won two, I won one. Like, you he beat like, him as an amateur then? Yeah, I beat him, but he tells everybody he beat him twice. He likes to tell, tell everybody that one. <laughs> and you've ended up close pals, haven't you? Yeah. That good. But you've always been mates, haven't you, Ian Carr, haven't you? Yeah, since we boxed, since we boxed at 15, we always had a mutual respect for each other. Yeah, as yeah. soon as you box anybody, yeah, yeah. unless it's really bad blood, yeah. You always have that respect for it. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. Let down the respect. We both turned pro on Dennis's show in 2004. We both had a pro day on the same show. So we kind of pro careers went alongside each other. Yeah. And we knew each other from a social point of view, from a professional point of view. Yeah. And just really got on well. Yeah, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. And, and how many fights did you have as a pro, John? I had 20, 26 as a pro, I think. 122. Lost two due to. So 22, two and two. Yeah, two. So you only lost two people then? Yeah, I lost two. I'm, su so I'm surprised you didn't carry on then. I know everybody is. A lot of people is. But at the end of the day, well, no matter where, I could have been, could have been unbeaten in 100. I could have lost 100 out of 100. If, if it's not there anymore, and you don't want to do it anymore. Because last year when you took me off pad, you were on about coming back, weren't you? Dennis were trying to talk you into Yeah, he tried to talk ah. me. There's a few people trying to talk me into ah. it. But ah. unless I'm boxing a cruiserweight. Ah. Ah. <laughs> but, uh, so how did it come about then for you to be training Kel? Because obviously he, he's, he's been out of the game a good six or seven yeah. months before you got training one. Did yeah. he bring you on? Did yeah, well like, like, you, like you said earlier, I've yeah. been Dennis Hobson as Jim McGlee, which yeah, yeah. Titans boxing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I've been there for two years now, training fighters, training amateurs, training professionals. And Kel, Kel knows that. Kel's been yeah. up to Jim before, seen yeah. lads and seen me and that. So obviously he knows I'm not new to this game. I think a lot of people thought I was working as the last week. Yeah. <laughs> it's because you're not in every interview. It's because, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's no, it. I like it. To, you're old school. You're not. You're not going to be like in every it. interview. No. You said that. Exactly. Yeah. I just playing along with what I do. Training yeah. my amateurs, training the professionals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Learning my craft. Mm. Yeah. And Kel just rang me up and he said, um, "How you been? What you're up to?" I just told him, "Like, oh, I got that boxing Sunday, amateur boxing." He says, "All right, well, I come, I'm, I'm just in for Ventura at the minute." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I come back at weekend. When I come back at weekend, you want to meet up and uh, maybe have a chat. So I said, yeah, of course. I just assumed it'd just be just normal. Just for a chat and a couple of being made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he and just, you didn't think that he'd be saying, John, do you want no, to train? No, yeah. I didn't know. He just, and yeah. then when we met up, he says, are you fixed? Are you busy in the next yeah. few weeks? I said, well, I'm a bit quiet in the next few weeks. But wow, so 
He says, oh, I thought I'd sure him, just ticking off, oh, do you want to come over, just, just help out, we'll do some pads, we'll do a bit of this, and see how we go, and I said, yeah, so I said, yeah, of course, I'll jump a chance, then when I got there, uh, he just clicked straight away, yeah, and, he saw, yeah. and he just, I think, which the first day we both knew we were going to be working, yeah, 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 yeah. and then he just, he says, how, 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 how do you fix this day out, so I, I said, well, listen, we got to have a word with Dennis, obviously me and Dennis are partners, we work together, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I need to see how that worked, how it worked with Jim, I need to have a word with my missus, see how I go, I need to have a word with the lads in the gym to make yeah, sure yeah, they're all happy, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. everybody were buzzing, Dennis, Dennis were over moon for me, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. my missus were over moon, lads in the gym were over moon, so they all pulled together, I liked, I've got, got to find Dennis and my, my girlfriend Rebecca and yeah. all the lads and lasses in the gym, they all yeah. pulled together yeah, yeah. and while I've been over there for five or six weeks, they run, they, we've, had, we've still had amateur boxing and winning yeah. uh, and then my professionals down west, he's come out and trained with us, yeah. so um, it's all gone great. And Cal's been happy with everything, you've gone through everything. He's been over, he's been over at Moon, yeah, he's been, we've had a good team out here, we've had myself, yeah. we've had Lee was my assistant trainer, I'd yeah. give the box pro a long time, a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, we've got, uh, we've had, Greg Marriott obviously kept Greg's strength and conditioning coach. Yeah. We've got Adam Bailey who's Jimmy is over here. So we've surrounded ourselves with a great team. Yeah. And it's just been it's been such a good time. It's been like it's been hard work, yeah. good work, yeah. but a great laugh. Yeah. It's been a yeah. great laugh. And I think in boxing you just you, you need to enjoy it. You need to yeah. enjoy your training, yeah, you need to yeah, enjoy yeah, boxing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't enjoy it, you might as well hang your gloves up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has he got his zest back for it, Kevin? Oh, yeah, yeah, was it? So, yeah. But honestly, I've said it before. He's still only a young pup, in he, really. He hasn't got much mileage on him. No, he hasn't. He's got them, he had them two injuries, but other than that. Yeah, the thing is, he's, 30, he's, he's 32. These days, this yeah. day and age, fighters go on for a lot longer than you. Hopkins, 50. Hopkins, and you know what? Like, whatever people say about Kevin, like, right, he's an athlete. He don't get it, does he, as well? He's an, af yeah. he's an athlete, and, and he's, had, he's had a few hard fights. Few tough fights. Yeah. What's some of what he can proud to be when he hands his gloves up. Yeah, yeah. But on the whole, he's had, he's not he's not got a lot of miles on the clock. Yeah. Like I say, he don't he don't take many shots. Yeah. Uh, he's he he blitzed through British level. Yeah. As easy as he did. Yeah. yeah. So he didn't take many shots. He didn't take many miles on the on the clock then. So he didn't get hit till the Lofkin fight, really. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Carson Jones clipped him. Yeah, 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 yeah. He always knows one. Yeah. So he's had, he's been in hard fights, something he can be proud of, like I said. Mm. But he's not been in loads and loads and loads oh, of holes yeah. where you think, oh my God, he's, only, he's not got that left. Mm. Mm. And you'll notice it with training and that. Obviously, you'll be logging everything that you're doing all that yeah. the team on because Kel's. The cow comes across as like not somebody who got loads of O levels, but he knows his boxing and he'll know his body well. Yeah, listen, he'll know if he's performing or not well. We're he's his biggest critic, isn't he, Cal? Yeah, he is. We're all we're all fighters, right? Yeah, none, yeah. Of, none of us. I don't think none of us are going to be rocket scientists or doctors. No, no, yeah, yeah. But we know boxing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. And we're not we we we're not punchy. We're not thick. We we don't know it, but. We know boxing, and that's yeah, what we yeah, know. Yeah, and yeah. boxing, yeah, yeah. and he knows. Like I say, he knows his own body. He knows. Yeah. He knows the game, and and the, the big part of my my knowledge as a trainer is knowing the game. Um, yeah. I studied boxing from being eleven years old. I've, I've had I had probably going on eighty or ninety on bouts in total. Yeah. Amateur professional. So when you've got two kids together, what shooting a game, what work together, all we talk about is boxing. Yeah. yeah. And, and he's been working well. And obviously with Kel going up to Dennis's gym, Dennis will probably get more kids coming to train up there now, won't oh, they? Yeah, it's, 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 it has a knock-on effect, Yeah, right? knock-on effect. We're doing, we're, doing, we're doing, our gym is doing brilliant. Yeah, right? yeah, so yeah. We've got I mean, it's flying at the moment. We've only been going two years and we had, when, when I first took the gym we didn't have a single amateur, a single professional. Yeah. Now we've got 12 amateur boxers, all caught and all ready to box. Yeah. We've got three professionals, one of them being Kel, Kel, Dan West, yeah, Dan West, Sophie and Arnold. Sophie and Arnold. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, um, so it's obviously Kel, Kel's working under me, yeah. which means he'll be popping up to, he'll be working at our gym when we're here. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, we've got a great setup before Ventura, which when when everything gets a gear set, boom, we'll be, we'll be yeah. back over again. But what I want to do then, what Kel wants to do, I want to bring our fighters over there. Yeah. I want our fighters, Sophie and Arnold, Dan West, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mickey Ward, who's going to be turning pro next year, Connor. Uh, Connor um, 
don't we want the trade term in a couple of years? I want them fighters to come out with yeah, us yeah, yeah. and get that experience and get them learn, learn. Well, we're training and that. Warm weather training, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. Kel, Kel was in the gym yesterday with lads having crack with lads what, training. Yeah, I have to fight. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's trained every day. He, he ran Monday, ran me yesterday. He said, come on, let's get in the gym. We went to the gym yesterday with my lads having crack with lads. Taking over. He's got a point to prove now, hasn't he? Because there's so many people I've noticed on social media and people, and uh, we know who, people in the boxing industry, they wanted you both to lose. Oh, yeah, yeah, 100%. I mean, some of the things I heard, yeah. and people in conversation yeah. in my company, yeah. were saying you'll get beat, is this and that. I said, yeah. that was shocking. It, it shocked me how many people could just turn like that. Yeah. You know, I've only been at this four years, not yeah. about Dennis and that young yeah. boys, but. I was shocked, mate, how many people were saying, no, oh, he's inexperienced, and yeah. John Fuchs, he's only a rookie, he's only a good pad man, and yeah. what's he going to know, and all that. You must have been, and he were getting it as well, weren't he? You, yeah, You must have thought, what the? Yeah. I, um, I, totally, I, I understand what you're saying, but I totally understand as well, because I think, yeah. Kel, Kel obviously was with, with, with the Ingalls for a very long time, yeah, 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 he's yeah, so yeah. successful. They're, they're successful. So they? successful yeah. there, so when, when people have seen his left, and, and then a lot of people, I think a lot of people were saying that are people who what, have probably been around boxing five minutes. So, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. so many people saying, who's he, who's John Fuchs, who's this, right? It's going to happen. I'm not naive enough to think yeah. people are going to go, oh, what a great move, John, go with John Fuchs, blah, blah. But the people in the know and the people I care about, yeah, 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 respect, yeah, 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 yeah. they're all behind me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the main thing about anything is, Kel went up there. Yeah, right. Dennis and Richard, they thought you did alright, you yeah. were working good together. Yeah, exactly, yeah, so yeah. And Dennis is happy, yeah, Dennis, yeah. like I said, me and Dennis work really well. So, there's, there's no, if, if anything, Kel coming to you, I think, and working at Dennis with Jim, it's been a blessing, hasn't it, for, for all you lot and me as well, because it's helped all of us, hasn't it? Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like I said, we've not, we've not worked out with Dennis as, as much, yeah, 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 but yeah. obviously, because I was just, Jump straight into yeah, yeah, yeah. Jump straight into the fight line and that. Yeah. yeah, obviously when we're working, we're working out of our gym, yeah. yeah, yeah. When we're working at home before we go out there. But it's um It's all positive stuff, isn't it? It's all brilliant. But there's been so much negativity about yeah, it. Of course, yeah, yeah. You must have gone to bed at night, John. It's like having a fight in at night for yeah. you must have been laid at bed tonight thinking I don't go on social media or. Well, I don't hate you, but I don't bother you, but your last yeah. one has been right, please, would you? Because you, you have had. Probably, probably. There's been a few critics, haven't Yeah, there's been a few, but listen, that's. that's you got the awesome. win. That's life. You got the win, didn't yeah, you? At the end of the day, there's, all, there's always going to be somebody who wants to go and find. You can do 10. You can do ten things right, yeah. and nobody says anything. You do one thing wrong, and everybody's on top. Yeah, that's it. Well, so, that's life. Yeah, and what about. Um, people keep saying that Kel's finished and that, right? Well. What about when Sky didn't do him any favours, I didn't think, I, don't think you know, I know you won't comment on that, yeah. I didn't think they did him any favours, but when he fought Carson Jones, that was like a bad night at the office in my opinion yeah. for him, yeah. but, and I thought this one, he's still got the win, yeah. but yeah, they, 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 they were, it were awful for him, and what, yeah. what, what's changed since then, I, whereas then Sky were alright with him, yeah. this time, I don't know if, yeah. is he still in favour with them, yeah. I don't know, I thought they could have handled it a bit better, or I'll it. be honest, I've not, not watched the fight back yet, yeah, so I'm not, I, I yeah. can't really comment, because yeah. I don't know, but, um, I don't know, I just think there was a lot of build-up with his fight, yeah, a lot yeah, of pressure yeah. on his fight. There's a lot of pressure on Kel because mm. people might look at Michael Zarafa on paper yeah. and this, this and that. I don't look at fighters on paper, I look at fighters in person. He's been sparring world class kids yeah, and, and I look at all in the money and I look yeah. at fighters in person yeah, and yeah. Michael's a lot better fighter than people give him credit. He's got some new him, isn't it, John? Yeah, and he did, and, 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 he, and he ain't got no credit for Saturday night, he boxed out his skin. He did, yeah. And when somebody is boxing out of their skin, and somebody else is boxing a little under par. Yeah, yeah. It's like that. Like obviously the, the levels will be here, like mm -hmm. being here. If Kel boxes a little under par and Michael boxes out of his skin, yeah. he starts to level it set up a little bit. But he still won near enough every round for me. Yeah, and he still and he still he did twelve rounds, which were good for us, because I think if he didn't have one round job on him, we wouldn't have we wouldn't have learned all that each other. Yeah. We not anything about each other. We learn we learn how to work with each other in the corner, yeah. we learn how to get through 12 rounds, yeah. uh, how we're happy, we're happy. So at the end of the day, what you've got to realise is, K 
tells next five, he goes out and does a, does a number on anybody with boxes, people will forget that. They'll say it's pound for pound, because he was number 10 pound that. for pound, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Magazine, yeah. So they forget about, they forget about that, Sandy. Yeah, yeah. we, we know how fickle it is, don't yeah, we? Exactly. But before I go through these questions from fans, yeah. another thing I wanted to ask you. The weight issue, he's yeah. been around him all his career. We know he's a big welterweight. Yeah, of course, yeah. He, this is how I look at it, right? Did he come in when he won 50? Yeah. Did he do that because he's more or less saying, I can do any weight? Yeah. I'm here, the door's open for 147, or I can yeah. put a fight here at 154. Is that why you did it? No. I thought that was good if that's true. The genu genuinely, the reason he did it is because yeah. he just woke up early. Yeah. And people are going to, honestly, God, he got up early, he woke up. Like, because the camp's gone so well, yeah, and, and people might think I just keep saying, but the camp's gone so well. Is we've had he's, well, he's been on it a lot longer than I'll, I'll be out there six weeks. He's been on it a good 10 12 weeks by yeah. like it's the hard. So, a penny dropped in his head, and yeah. he just realized, Listen, come on, get your fight, and I'll be fighting, John. So, his weight was brilliant. I think he's checked weight. He, he got to check weight on the Monday and it was like 11 stone. So the fact that he 11 stone, yeah. so he just kept eating right, kept, and just go kept right. eating right and just woke up right and then obviously it's just with a little bit, even, even with weighings everybody has a little bit of nerves and a little bit of stuff like a little bit of nerves in him. And it's coming out. Um, but he didn't, he, don't, he didn't bother me or he didn't bother Kel or he didn't bother Greg because it's not like he's killed himself to make 150 so he thinks, oh my god, it's so much lighter. He was just, he was, he had, he had, he had seen that before, he had some breakfast that morning. Just, yeah. what were you eating that morning? Yeah, yeah. 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 he had a big morning, he just, he just come in light, haven't he? So, he's maybe get, getting into gear now, this is how I look at it, because he looked pretty determined when I've seen his interviews, he looked cheeked yeah. off with a few people though, but he looks to me like he's thinking, right, I'm going to have one last proper run here, no breaks, no yeah. ballooning up, yeah. and all that, it's like, it's yeah. now or never for him. Yeah, exactly, it? that's it, he knows he's got... And he hasn't had a bad career, has he? No, he's exactly. He's a proper wealth, you know, yeah, exactly. he's had a very good school career, isn't he? What people, um, Pound yeah. for pound, well, big yeah. magazine, top ten, well, wasn't people it? People like to forget about or don't give enough credit for, but listen, um, we all know, we know as fighters, and as anybody who's watching boxing, you, you've you got to, especially later on in your career as you get a bit older, it gets harder to make weight, it gets harder when you when you maybe have a bit of rest in between fights. I don't even think he's thinking so much like I've got, I can't believe I can't that. He's just loving being in the gym. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So while he's loving being in the gym, while he's loving training, exactly. just keep doing it. And then obviously I'm, I'm going to keep pushing for him to get a day ASAP so we can get straight, yeah. get straight back on it, get straight back on it. Because Kel, Kel needs to be active. Yeah, it does, he, yeah, he yeah, needs yeah, to be yeah, active. Yeah, yeah. Fight, fight. He has to have a date, doesn't he? Exactly. It's not just that, it's just he's, he'll perform so much better when he's yeah. active. When you're having breaks all the time, it does it don't suit certain fighters and Kel, we, we have we have reactions and how he is and, and mm. slick and how slick he is. Mm. He needs to be he needs to be active. I mean we can you can get great sparring, we did have great sparring yeah. over there. But he needs to be busy and he wants to be out again in March and uh, when he's boxing March he wants to be hiding after that. And it can be against anybody. I don't mind we're boxing now. as long as it will be top fight, it's gotta be elite fights now. Every fight he has has gotta be top draw fight and I'll take any of them once I have yeah. Yeah, let me just, just press this again because it's gonna go off. Yeah.